Hello everyone, this is Mohamad Dinatullah from the Sai Mehta Coaching Center, Kwati, Hyderabad. So welcome to the question series of the mathematics uh, shortcut tricks over here. In our previous videos, we have taken the topic periodicity. Okay, like in our previous videos, we have taken one one question, one one important question we have taken. For that, we have taken the concept. After understanding the concept, we have taken one simple shortcut over there. Some tricks we have taken, some time saving results we have taken over there. Uh, by using that shortcut, sir, by seeing the question, we can write the directly answer within less period of time. Okay, because this time saving results will be most useful in the ESET examination. In the ESET examination, we have to attempt all the 50 questions from the mathematics. So all that 50 questions, if you want to attempt, means a compulsory, we should know some standard results. Some time saving results what we are having, some small tricks what we are having over there, shortcuts what we are, then only we can attempt all the questions correctly within less period of time. Okay. So now in this video also, we will be taking one more question from the periodicity over there. First I will be understanding the, uh, means we will be understanding the concept, then we will be discussing the shortcut related to this part. Okay. So before taking that question, I want to inform you that Sai Medha Coaching Center Koti Hyderabad has already started online as well as offline coaching. Okay, admissions are in progress. Hurry up. If you want any more details, I'll be pro providing the uh, contact numbers over here. You can contact on that numbers. Now, let us see this question. The period of sine cube x plus cos cube x we are having over here. Sine cube x plus cos cube x. So, if you're seeing this question, again, this is a complete function we are having. If you're taking this complete function, concept is same only. Now, if you're seeing this video first time is once Please watch the previous videos also, you'll be understanding the concept, okay? Because continuation will be taking the videos over here. Periodicity, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? Like this we are taking over here. So, if you are once seeing the previous videos, then you can understand very clearly what is the concept, okay? Now, let us see this part. f of x is equal to what we are having? Sin cube x plus cos cube x. Like this we have taken over here. f of x is equal to sin cube x plus cos cube x. Now, what is the meaning of this part means, sir? Listen carefully. Both are different. Suppose if you are having sin x square written over here and we are having sin square x written over here, both are different. Both are not same. Okay. This is sin x square. Power is for only x. Now, this sin square x means what we are having? This is sin x whole square. Okay. Meaning is sin square x means what? Are? Sin x whole square. Like that part we are having over here. Now, let us see this question f of x is equal to sin cube x plus cos cube x. So, when we can say that the function is periodic function means sir, we are having one condition. What is that condition we are having? f of x is equal to f of t plus x. This is a condition. If this condition is satisfied, then we have to call it as what a periodic function. But we have to find out period of that function. Now. Then what we can do? Whenever this condition is getting satisfied, this t value is called as what a period t value we are calling it as what a period but the t value should be least positive value which value least positive value because sometimes what will happen if you are taking uh, pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi or as 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi 8 pi you are taking this number of values then the condition will be satisfied for number of cases so if the condition is getting satisfied for number of cases we can't consider all that are period so, t value should be least positive value, then we are calling it as what a period of that function. Now, let us see, we are having the uh, t values over here. First, what we will be writing in the place of x, uh, we will be writing t plus x. In the place of x, uh, what we are writing? t plus x. Now, over here, what we can do? Sin cube of t plus x plus, now we are having cos cube of t plus x. Like this, we have taken. Okay. Now, in the place of t, what we have to consider means we are having these values. So, again, do not consider that uh, smallest value we are having. Okay, this, these are uh, same options means let us take this part as a pi by 2. One is pi by 2, next is pi, 2 pi. The smallest value we are having pi by 2. So, the least positive value will become period means it is not like that. The condition should also be satisfied. Na? First, you have to check whether the condition is getting satisfied or not. Then, you have to consider the period. Okay, so we will be taking case 1. So, first case 1 means, I uh, will be taking if t value is equal to pi by 2, okay, t is equal to pi by 2, then let us substitute over here. So, f of pi by 2 plus x is equal to sin cube of pi by 2 plus x, okay, plus. Next, what we are having over here, cos cube of pi by 2 plus x, 
okay like this we have taken now what is the meaning of pi by 2 we are having pi by 2 means 90 90 plus theta 90 plus theta means it is coming under second quadrant second quadrant sign will be what a positive 90 means we have to change the function so what we are writing over here we are changing means a cos so cos cube of pi by 2 plus x like this we have got over here okay or else sorry what we can write directly we can write it as cos cube cos cube x because sin 90 plus theta sin 90 plus theta means what cos theta cube means we have written cube over here next over here plus now 90 plus theta second quadrant means cos will be negative we are writing negative part over here after writing negative 90 means we have to change means cos will become what a uh, sin okay like this we have taken then sin x sin x and cube is also there that cube we can write completely for what a whole cube it is whole cube now so we can as i have told you sin square x means it is what a sin x a whole square yes or no sin x a whole square like that we are having so over here also first i have written this part and this three means i have written whole cube now what we are getting see this it is equal to cos cube x i am writing same as it is over here now next part now this minus we are having over here minus and we are having power 3 so minus 3 times means what minus into minus plus plus into minus minus only so we are getting minus then this part will become what a sin cube x now the question is a uh, sin cube x plus cos cube x and the answer we are getting cos cube x minus sin cube x uh, condition is not getting satisfied so you can't write directly least value of period now condition should be satisfied over there then you can consider the period okay so case one we are not getting over here now let us consider case two now case two means what we are taking if t is equal to pi let us take t is equal to pi over here if you are taking t is equal to pi now then f of pi plus x we have taken which is equal to sin cube of pi plus x plus cos cube of pi plus x like this we have taken which is equal to 180 plus theta 180 plus theta means what a third quadrant third quadrant sign will be negative cos will also be negative so if you are having negative minus 180 means no change so what we can write a uh, minus sin x and we are writing it as whole cube plus again minus cos x and we are writing it as whole cube so minus three times means what minus only so we are getting this answer as a uh, minus sin cube x this is also minus cos cube so plus into minus minus cos cube x again the condition is not getting satisfied because we are having sin cube x plus cos cube x we are getting minus sin cube x minus cos cube x condition is not satisfied now let us go for case number three so according to case number three what we can take now if t is equal to let us take a 2 pi you can consider 3 pi by 2 also check that part you will be not getting satisfied condition now let us take a 2 pi then f of 2 pi plus x is equal to sin cube of 2 pi plus x plus cos cube of 2 pi plus x like this we have taken so which is equal to now 2 pi means what 360 360 plus theta means first quadrant first quadrant all will be positive all will be positive and uh, 360 means what uh, no change so directly what we can write over here sin cube x plus a uh, cos cube x now the condition is getting satisfied because you can see f of x is equal to sin cube x plus cos cube x and f of t plus x is equal to sin cube x plus cos cube x. The condition is getting satisfied. If the condition is getting satisfied, then the t value, we have to call it as what a period. Okay. So what is the period of this function we are getting? 2 pi. So 2 pi means what is the option we are getting over here? Second option. Okay. So this was a complete concept related to this type of questions. Now we'll be discussing the shortcut for this remaining questions what we are having. See this part. So first of all, if you are having, if you are having sine power nx, cos power nx, secant power nx and cosecant power nx like this we have taken over here. Okay. For all this, if you are taking n is equal to even and n is equal to odd like this we have taken. So for all this, whenever we are having n is equal to even n means what power if power is equal to even number then we have to write it as pi for odd number what we have to write a uh, 2 pi okay now next part now if we are having tan power nx and cot power nx uh, for this uh, what we have to remember if n is equal to even 
or n is equal to odd, whatever it may be, we have to write the answer as what? Pi only. For tan and cot, tan power and cot power and we are having the answer as pi only. But sine power and cos power and secant power and cosecant power in means even means pi, odd means what? 2 pi. So this was the questions related to only particular function like the period of sine power nx, the period of cos power nx, particular. But if you are having the combinations now, let us concentrate that part. The period of, as you can see in the question, we are having combinations now. Let us see this. The period of, if I am taking f of x is equal to a into sine power nx plus b into cos power nx. Next part, f of x is equal to, we are having a into tan power nx plus b into cot power nx. Like this we have taken. Next, f of x is equal to a into cosecant power nx plus b into secant power nx. These are the combinations. Sin cos, tan cot, cosecant, secant. If you are having this type of combinations, simply what we have to remember means, sir, see this part. What we are remembering. See this. So what we are having, first we will be taking it as a n is equal to even and a n is equal to odd. Next, a is equal to b, a is not equal to b. Okay, now let us see this. So when now we are having n is equal to even number, if n is equal to even number and a is equal to b, what is a, b? This a value, b value. If a is equal to b and n is equal to even, then what we have to write the answer? Pi by 2, that's it. Okay, if n is equal to even and a is not equal to be some different numbers means uh, what is the answer? Pi, that's it. Next part, if n is equal to odd we are having over here, then whether it may be a is equal to b or a is not equal to b. Both the cases, if n is equal to odd means uh, directly what is the answer? 2 pi. What is the answer? 2 pi. Okay, so that's why in our previous question, see this part, a value 1, b value 1, a is equal to b. What is the power we are having? Odd. So for odd number, what is the answer? 2 pi. So over here also for odd number, what is the answer? 2 pi. So if you remember this part, then directly we can uh, solve the answer over within few seconds. Okay, solve in 3 seconds. Solve in 1 second also we can do by seeing the question directly we can give the answer. See this part. What is n value is equal to even number? n is equal to even, a is equal to b. What is a value? 1. b value? 1. Okay, so what we can write the answer? n is equal to even, a is equal to b. Answer is what? Uh, pi by 2. That's it. Okay, next. n is equal to even, a is equal to b. What is the answer? Pi by 2. That's it. Now, next question. Over here, n is equal to even, a is not equal to b. a is not equal to b, n is equal to even means what is the answer? Pi. Next part. Now, n is equal to odd number. You can see, n is equal to odd number means uh, whether it may be a is equal to b, or a is not equal to b. What is the answer we are having? 2 pi. Okay. Now, next question. Now, see this part. Over here again, n is equal to odd number. n is equal to odd, a is not equal to b. Odd number means what? 2 pi. Now, we are having small twist over here. See this part carefully. n is equal to even. Okay. Very good. n is equal to even. Okay. Then a is equal to b. Okay. a is equal to b and n is equal to even. Then for this, sir, what is the period answer we are having over here? Pi by 2. That's it. Yes or no? Pi by 2. But we are having this small twist over here. If you are observing, x coefficient is also given. What is given? x coefficient is also given. So according to the concept, like our formula, mean formula, whenever we are having f of ax plus b or f of ax plus b plus k, then we are having one period formula is equal to t divided by mod a, t divided by mod a, means t means this answer only divided by what is mod a, a means coefficient of x, okay, this a, b is different, again do not confuse, this a value, this is b value, that is a is equal to b, that condition is done, what is this a denominator means, sir? coefficient of x, coefficient of x. So, therefore, what is the period we can write over here? Period is equal to, we are having, according to the shortcut, our answer is pi by 2. Shortcut answer is what? Pi by 2. Then, if you are having some number, you can see in previous questions, we are not having any number written over there. We are not having any x coefficient. 
okay we are not having any x coefficient but in this uh, as we are having x coefficient after writing the shortcut answer then we have to divide by this number if it is 3 by 3 if it is 4 by 4 like that you have to write so then what is the final answer we are getting pi by 2 by 2 means what uh, pi by 4 that's it this is the final answer we are getting pi by 4 means uh, which option fourth option is correct okay so if you want to learn this type of uh, shortcuts okay one more question sin power 4 sin power 4 3x cos power 4 3x similar question now suppose a is equal to b and what we are having n is equal to even then what we can write the periodicity over here period is equal to what is the answer for this pi by 2 shortcut answer pi by 2 divided by what we are having 3 so which is equal to pi by 6 pi by 6 means what uh, option 4 that's it so these are the shortcuts uh, related to our standard question so if you want to learn all this time saving results and the shortcut tricks of what we are having, you will be getting this type of shortcuts only in Sai Medha Coaching Center Koti Hyderabad because our results are proving itself. Okay, It is uh, showing us that 5 state first ranks in the ESA 2025. Suppose if you are talking about Telangana, in ESA 2025, we got 5 state first ranks, especially in CSE first rank, EC first rank, DME first rank, civil first rank, EIE first rank. Not only in Telangana, if you are talking about AP also, in AP, we have achieved state first ranks. Okay, You can see EC first rank, triple E first rank, civil first rank, DME first rank, chemical as well as EI first rank. So these are first ranks. Now, if you are coming for top 10 ranks, both in AP as well as Telangana, you can see this part. Okay, If you are talking about CSE, we have achieved 4 in AP, 10 in T. 10 out of 10, top 10 ranks in CSE. Okay, EC 5 in AP, 9 in TG, Triple E 2 in AP, 8 in TG, DME 5 in AP, 8 in TG, DC 5 in AP, 6 in TG, EIE 3 in AP, 4 in TG. Okay, so our ranks itself, it is showing us uh, that if you are preparing like this for the ESET examination, then compulsory, compulsory and we'll be having that confidence that uh, we can achieve that goal, whatever the goal we have, uh, means uh, put it over there, set it over there, means I want to achieve like 180 marks you have put it some short term goal over there now for achieving that uh, planning is important some strategy is important only hard work is not needed hard work plus smart work is also needed for cracking this type of competitive examination okay and all that part will be given by Sai Medha Coaching Center Koti Hyderabad okay so already the classes has been started for both online as well as offline hurry up admissions are in progress if you want any more uh, information regarding this you can contact on this given numbers 9849713451 9848692598 and download the app saimeda.in and please share this video with your friends if you have uh, not subscribed to our youtube channel till now please subscribe to it thank you very much